Hello, good afternoon, dear students. It's me, Kamal Kese. Today, I am here to discussing about the introduction to biology. This introduction to biology is in the course of the NEB class 11 zoology. My dear students, that I will discuss it about uh, biology and their branches, their scopes, and their fields as well. So dear students, first of all, let's discuss about the definition of the biology. First of all, what do you mean by the biology? Biology is a branch of the science which deals with the living things. Dear students, you are uh, discussed about the life, uh, living beings, living things from the class one, that plants are the living beings, that animals are the living beings, that you are discussing like that, but these whole living beings, we are, it, it is comes under the course of the biology. That's why biology is the branch of the science which deals with the study of living beings. And these types of the living beings or these types of the biology is first coined by the two uh, scientists. They are the John Baptiste Lamarck. John Baptiste Lamarck and the three virus. These are the two scientists which they are work to coin the term biology. And the main branches of the biology are the botany and the zoology. In class 11, you'll read about the botany and the zoology in the biology topic. So what do you mean by the botany? So botany is the branch of the biology which deals with the study of the plants. And Branch of the biology which deals with the study of the animals are called the zoology. And the father of the botany was Theoparastos. And father of the zoology or father of the biology or father of the embryology, all the founder of the taxonomy was the Aristotle, one of the great scientists, zoologist, embryologist, or founder of the taxonomist is the Aristotle. So Aristotle was those scientists or the philosophers which works on the field of the zoology and the biology. So dear students, keep in your mind that the father of the biology, father of the zoology, father of the embryology is the Aristotle. Now, next slide is here about the scopes of the biology. Why we are reading about the biology? Why we need to study about the biology? that where it is this cause. So some points I have illustrated here. So first of all, economical value. That biology have the great economical value for the development of the economical growth of the country. Why? How? How it is possible that different uh, tourists, the visit to Nepal, why? to see the jungle, forest, our tiger, elephant, mount, mountain climbing. And they visit the different region of our country. They, they visit us or they visit our biological patterns. That's why that economical value from the tourism sector we can see. Here. That next economical value is in the dairy technology. That in dairy, that a milk uh, changes into the car or car changes into the different factors, different materials, like uh, the paneer, that ghee, that for that also, that biological knowledge is very important that without the knowledge of the streptococcus bacteria, that uh, milk cannot be changed into the car. And food value, without knowing the, the biology, that how can we get the food? How can we get yield the crops? How can we get the fruits, vegetables? Our uh, Nepal consists of numerous farmers. That our farmers, they have the traditional biology. They know the time, at what time we use, what types of the crops. What types of the crops are planted in which season. So this is the knowledge of the biology. And due to the knowledge of the biology that we can get different types of the foods, we can yield the crops, we can get the fruits and vegetables from the plants and so on. That we must know about the biology of the cow buffalo to get the milk. We must know the idea 
about the goods, then only we can get the meat. That means food value, it is the scopes of the biology. And next scopes are the importance of the biology is here that the medicinal value. That numerous medicines are prepared by the knowledge of the biology. Next one is the research value. Biology have the great value in the research. Nowadays we are in the room due to the COVID-19 that if we know about the coronavirus and its medicine, if we have did the research in time, in that condition we will be able to clear these types of condition. That's why biology have the great scopes in the research too. Next one is the industrial value. Without knowing about the biology, that we cannot run the different industry, like as the jute mill, sugar cane mill, a sugar mill, tobacco factory. And next one the, is the ecological value that if we are unable to know about the ecology, if we are unable to balance the ecosystem, that we cannot think about our life. That totally our life is depend on the ecological balance. That's why the next scopes or the importance of the biology is in the field of the ecology. Next one is the aesthetic value. That aesthetic value that some students they use the tattoo or some students they use the large poster in their room about the animals. These types of the value that while seeing the picture of the uh, uh, flying birds we, we can enjoy. So these types of aesthetic value is also is in the biology. Now next one is the game value. That different games like laugh and polo, horse polo, horse running, that a bed for the running of the horse. These types of activities held in the world nowadays. So next scopes are the importance of the biology is the game value. Now some field or the branches of the biology is included here that 30 tons I've included that dear students in this planet or in this earth, how many life are here? How many plants are here? How many animals are here? We don't. Scientists also cannot tell the sharp answer. Only they can guess. So how many life are there? How many planets are there? How many animals are there? Like that, the same different uh, logic or the study of their branch or field we can maintain. We can't tell. But some points for this grade 11, I will explain here that, that first of all, morphology. Morphology means the study of the external structure of animals or the plant. Anatomy means the study of the internal structure of the plant and animals that through the anatomy we can uh, tell about the we can discuss about the digestive system circulatory system respiratory system reproductive system and histology is the study of tissue psychology is the study of the human behavior mental quality paleontology is the study of the fossils mycology is the study of the fungi phycology is the study of the algae Bryology is the study of the bryophyta or the river root or the moss. Elementology is the study of the worms or the random or the flat. And parasitology is the study of the parasitic organisms. Entomology is the study of the insect. Ornithology is the study of the birds. Mammalogy is the study of the mammals. Herpetology is the study of the reptiles and the amphibians. Protozoology is the study of the one-celled animals, like as the paramecium, plasmodium. Zoology is the study of the animals. Botany is the study of the plants. Ichthyology is the study of the fish. Evolution is the study of the origin of the organisms. And embryology is the study of the embryos. And polynology. Polynology is the study of the pollen grains. Teridology is the study of the teridophyta, like as the pond. Cardiology is the study of the heart. Neurology is the study of the neurons. Virology is the study of the virus. 
ethology is the study of the animal behavior ethnology is the study of the different roles of mankind in the different distributions like as the sepang caste raute we need to know about them this types of the story is ethnology eugenics that is study of the improvement of the races and cytology it is the study of the cells and protozoology it is the study of the protozoans dear students let's discuss about the relation of the biology with other science some parts of the science i taught from the biology that first of all chemistry relation of the biology with chemistry body of all the living organism made up of the organic and the inorganic compounds dear students our life start from the one single cell that our father single cell is the sperm our mother single cell is the haploid single cell is the ovum that two fused and form the single cell zygote and now it is about the one trillion cell in our body that whole the cell consist of the numerous organic and the inorganic elements of the compounds so that is the first relation with the chemistry of the biology and all the metabolic activities like as the respiration occur in our the cell that glucose in presence of the oxygen it is break down into the carbon dioxide water and the energy that energy release in our body that types of the metabolic activities occur in our body so all the metabolic activities inside the body of living beings involve chemical reaction and the chemical synthesis genetic materials dna and rna deoxy ribonucleic acid and ribonucleic acids are present in our the cell so that is the chemicals enzymes and hormones produced in the body of living organism are exclusively chemicals that hormone which are present in our body that is the chemical that give the signal to the different target cell which is produced by our glands and acid base reaction is also maintained in the cell in the form of chemical reaction and molecules move in and out of the cell by the diffusion and the osmosis now relation with the physics what is the relation of uh, biology with the physics let's discuss about it biological instruments such as the microscope we need microscope x ray machine ecg to know about the condition of the heart are based on the principle of the physics without the physics that we cannot get the use of the microscope as well as the x ray machine light includes the various effect on the living organisms without the light the life is impossible and study on the structure and function of the human eyes required the knowledge of the optics that uh, for us that sometimes short sightedness long sightedness these types of the disease can be cured by the knowledge of the optics of the physics and physical techni techniques such as the electron microscopy x ray diffraction chromatography have made possible the study of the finer details of the cellular and the subcellular components in the physics they are not invented these types of the uh, device or the instrument we are unable to know about the cells relation of the ge geography that distribution of the plant and animals vary different geographical factor dear students you know that our nepal also divided into the three geographical region himal tarai pahad isn't it so in different region there is a different types of the plant and animals we can see yak we can see in the himalayan region but yak we cannot see in the tarai this types of the distribution of the relation is found in the in the geography or this is the one of the relation between the biology and the geography now relation with the mathematics and the statics now mathematics and the statics what is the relation of the mathematics without the knowledge of the mathematics we cannot solve the uh, research of the biology for example census of the wild animals sometimes census of the tiger sometimes census of the leopard sometimes census of the uh, himalayan cheetah like that census we do that we count the animals so it is based on the application of mathematics and the statics 
statistical application. Such applications are helpful in data complication, compilation, and analysis of the living organism. Relation with the sociology, that study of the human behavior, social relationship, and antisocial relationship needs idea of the biological science. For example, investigation of the on the criminals, the study of the glands, hormones, these types of the sociological relation is also that with the relation of the biology. At last, I want to say that please, dear student, biology is the science of the exception. Every time we do not have the sharp answer, there is an exception. That's why that some example I have illustrated here. Euglena shows the both plant and animal's character, but it's lack cell wall, but bears the chloroplast. This is one exception. Virus is a living organism, but it lacks the cellular organization. It do not have the cellular organization, like at the cellular organ, that a nucleus, ribosome, mitochondria, these types of the organelles are lacking in the virus. So it is difficult to learn about the virus. DNA is the double standard whereas in the bacteriophages, one of the organism of the virus, it is a single standard. We know that DNA must have the double strand, but in, case, in some cases, like as the bacteriophages, it is single standard. Animal must become the adult to reproduce. We know that. But larva stage of the salamander can reproduce. Salamander can produce, reproduce, they can give the birth of the baby. So this is next accession. Dear students, that uh, about the introduction of the biology for class 12, class 11, zoology, I explain here and please learn from this learning class and listen my language and thank you class for those who are listening well and prepare note from this lecture. All the best.